This is Julie Sprankles of Charleston Home and Design Magazine. I'm here with Marilyn Gay, owner of Charleston-based business, Pains and Pillows. Hey, Marilyn, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you. Now, first, will you tell our readers and listeners a little bit about what your business is? Pains and Pillows is a custom window treatment business. Uh, we make custom window treatments, custom bedding, custom pillows, cushions, outdoor uh, uh, draperies for patios and uh, the window treatments are actually designed by me personally. I have a full line of fabrics, trims, hardware and I come directly directly to your home so that you can see everything in the light of your home. I will give you a rendering of your window treatment before you actually purchase it and I have the ability to take a picture of your window and actually design the treatment right on your window so you can actually see what that is. Everything is done in the comfort of your home so that it can you can see what it's really going to look like in that. Uh, so convenient for homeowners. Everybody, of course, likes convenience nowadays. Now, we are here at the Orangeburg Country Club. It's a beautiful, beautiful estate. And I understand you have a great deal of work here. Can you talk to us about the general scope of what you did? Yes. Uh, Orangeburg Country Club, uh, a couple of years ago, was purchased by one of the uh, residents here in the, the town of Orangeburg. And it's an older club. And he purchased the club with the idea of upgrading, adding on to it, and renovating it. So um, as you go through here, you can see it is a huge, huge building, and it's much larger than it was when he first purchased it. So I was involved uh, doing all of the window treatments here, and being a country club, there's lots of windows, so and, and huge, huge windows. So I was um, called in right from the beginning with the designer, and I designed all the window treatments and picked all the fabrics, the trims, and we did the installation here as well. Um, it was a project that lasted uh, probably about 13 months for me. I was one of the funnest projects I've ever worked on, probably one of the most demanding that I've worked on, uh, just the nature of it being so big and working with contractors and trying to keep dates and deadlines. And um, the country club's main goal when they started this project was to not have downtime with the club. So at some point, the club had to be functional in some way through the entire reconstruction process. So that meant that each one of the contractors had a deadline that they had to be with, and we had to just be one right behind the other. And sometimes we were stepping all over, and uh, literally we would have the painters in one day, the carpet layer in the next, and me the next. And sometimes all three of us were there the same day. So, But it turned out beautiful. I'm extremely proud of the work that was done here, and um, I'm, I'm just really honored to have been a part of this project. So, What are some of the different types of treatments you did throughout the country club? We did everything from uh, drapery panels to just plain balances in one room. Uh, we did some, some shadings in, in the rooms. We did uh, plantation shutters. Um, it, pretty much any kind of window treatment that you're going to design. And that was one of my ideas is that I don't want anything to look the same. I want it to all be different and unique in every room, but yet pull together with the, the decor of the, the building. So. That's a clever idea because a lot of places like this can start to look very uniform. Every room kind of looks the same. Now, speaking of unique treatments, we are standing in front of a very long wall here of treatments you did. And this is just one of the rooms you did. But I understand this is your favorite treatment in this building? Yes, that's correct. It is one of my favorite. It was one of the hardest as well, and maybe that's why it was my favorite. It was a challenge. I just happened to like this window treatment. It's um, somewhat of an asymmetrical look. Um, it's one of those window treatments that there's no room for error. I mean, as you can see, the balance is flat. So, and each one of the windows here is a little bit different size. So everyone had to be just right to the exact inch of the uh, the window treatment to make sure that it fit and it laid in the right place and um, everything hung properly. So that was a challenge, not only making it, but um, the installation was, was quite a day as well. So again, trying to get the rods all to fit together and uh, the brackets in the right place so that we had sturdy, enough uh, wood and to try to work around some of the details in the moldings in this room as well if you've noticed here this this club is just full of just gorgeous gorgeous moldings which makes the beauty of it but sometimes moldings are a nightmare for me and we just have to work around them so <laughs> well it's really a lovely treatment and I'm sure our readers listeners and viewers look at something like this and they think, I would never think of that myself. Now, when someone calls you for consultation, where does the process typically kick off? Um, do you supply them with these kind of ideas? 
Absolutely. When someone calls me, uh, most of the time they don't really know what they want. They just want, they have either a privacy issue or they've just moved into a house and it needs something to warm the walls or they want a balance. And that's about as far as I usually get. Um, then I spend a few minutes talking with them, finding out what their likes are, what their style is, what colors are we working with, what's the style of your room, what's your goal for your window treatments, do we have privacy issues, do we have um, insulation issues, and just get a good scope of what they're interested in. At that point, I set up an appointment with them, and at that point, I bring out fabric samples based on our conversation and trim samples, everything that we may need, and design ideas at that um, I sometimes actually am able to get a picture of the window before I get there and that's always a lot easier so you can get a visual and I can start thinking a little bit ahead of time of design ideas. Uh, once you get there sometimes you know wind is in the corner and it's you know a little bit of a, a challenge but that's okay those are the ones that really usually turn out to be the best and once I get there we go over we choose a fabric or some fabrics that we think we may like and we look at some designs that we like and then I take a photograph of their window I go back I order memo samples of the fabrics that they want so that they can take that memo sample and leave it in their room for a couple of days to see it all times of the day because the light changes things and then I do a rendering of the treatment that they've selected with the fabric I can actually plug the fabric right in onto the to the window so that they can see what it really is going to look like when they finish and make sure that's what they want before we start actually fabricating the treatment so really it's kind of a there's it takes the guesswork out of it people don't have to be afraid that they're going to get something they don't like because they're seeing it the entire process and it seems like a very personal process because like you said you can have a picture of their actual window in their actual home and then you'll Am I correct in saying you actually can plug in treatments onto that before you meet with them? So when you meet with a homeowner, you actually have a picture of their window with a potential treatment. Right. If they can send me, either email me a, a digital photo, and actually if they can get a, a photo on their cell phone, some of those actually, I can I can uh, zoom in and give them some ideas. And then you know, if they're we're real off base, then we can just plug in another one. Or if I sometimes if I get conflicting ideas and they think, well, yeah, I'm contemporary, but it's the next breath, it sounds like they're traditional. Maybe I'll do two renderings just so that they can see it. So it is a wonderful program. It has um, helped the husbands usually, not to sound sexist, but it does help the husbands to see it and to really realize what just a simple panel in a room will do for it as far as warming it up and making it more homely, homey and, um, and what they're getting. So um, the Dream Draper program has paid for itself many times over just through the spouses of <laughs> being able to see before they purchase what they're getting. Absolutely. It sounds incredible. Now, I'm sure everybody's going to know how they can reach out to you to talk about getting treatments of their own. Uh, what is the best way to reach you? You can reach me by phone. My number is 843-693-6900. Or you can, uh, you can view my website at www.painesandpillows.com. And on my website, there are many pictures of my treatments that I've worked on over the years. So you can get a feel for that. And you can see if that it may even help you say, I like this, I don't like that. Wonderful. So head to painsandpillows.com for some more inspiration before giving Marilyn a call. And Marilyn, thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you.